shooting a little bit of uh, video coming up to the property. There's public landing sign right there. St. John River. Um, up in behind me here, or directly behind me, I'd say about uh, seven minutes back, it's Grand Bay. Downtown Grand Bay, if you will. So uh, St. John River, great for boating, fishing, swimming. There's actually uh, a wharf right down here too. Um, there is a gas station and convenience store up here on the left hand side just before you turn up and uh, head into Wardan Lake. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, there's a gas station. Liquor store. That's a public boat launch and wharf right there. Anybody can launch right there. And then uh, we're heading right up into Cheney Road. And if you Google street map this part of the uh, thing, you can definitely, uh, I'm uh, gonna hit my trip odometer. Okay, we're at zero kilometers right now, so. <laughs> It's all pavement, and uh, it turns into dirt road. Power poles stop at the dirt road, just so you know. So um, there's not power poles run right along the front of this property. A lot of people uh, still live out here year round, but they don't. Um, uh, they don't have power out here. So end of the road's coming up there right now. dog running down the road. So this is the end of the paved road. Now it says that the road is closed to through traffic, which is true, about three kilometers in. There's a culvert out, but that's about a kilometer and a half before the camp. So, um, Here's your last power pole right there. And this dirt road. Um, this, this road is not plowed during the winter time. Uh, driven up in here in my uh, station wagon. It's a four wheel drive station wagon. I've driven up on this road every month of the year, but uh, it's not plowed. Good solid road though, it's not uh, a muddy road, it's uh, granite gravel, it's well drained, and uh, typically there's no ruts in the road. The government still maintains the road, they grade it, they just don't plow it in the winter time. So we're climbing the hills here right now, and then it'll go on the flat. Sometimes on this little flat area, to be fair, there, you might get into a, a little bit of rutting if there's been uh, uh, spring of the year when the frost comes out of the ground. But even in the summertime when there's lots of rain, there's uh, no ruts in this part of the road. So we're on the flat part here now, and then we'll start going down the other side. This road hasn't been plowed. There's probably probably about four inches of snow down here. It's just from people that live in here, driving in here all the time. And people do drive back in here, certainly with four-wheel drive pickups, 12 months of the year, just because if you drive on a road enough, it, uh, it doesn't need to be plowed. So now we're going down the other side. Um, we're at 1.2 kilometers, or 1.2 miles, sorry, actually. This is a, a mile struck. Right here where this fork in the road is, there's a little spring that does come out, but it's bedrock right underneath. 
So, um, it, like, it's not even gravel right here. It's bedrock. But it will cover the road with a little bit of ice right here. And coming up to the left-hand property line. So the property's on the left-hand side. You see some ribbons coming up here, and I'll show you right there. So there's one property line and the survey marker, pretty confident survey marker is visible like it's actually right on the ground, somewhere right in around there. So that would be the uh, left hand side line. And the sun's going down there so give you an idea too, like the sun, that's due west right there. This all pre-commercially thin softwood spruce fir. Uh, I would say fir spruce, like composition-wise, it's probably 40% fir, 30% spruce, red maple, yellow birch, beech, and uh, got the road frontages there. There's also uh, white pine in there too. Um, and then there's your property line right there. That's for the 10 acres. So. Long range, there's got to be a, a probably about a 70 foot driveway installed right here that will take you just up there. The road actually hooks back. What I'm going to do is show you that uh, this is the other part of the property. If you're interested in it, it's uh, 30 acres, but I'm keeping enough road frontage there so that it's legal. And uh, this is a driveway going up in. And, uh, I'll probably snap the video off here and then I'll turn it back on once I get uh, going up into uh, up into the driveway. Now it's just like a, an old farm gate. Well, maybe I'll just keep it on. Only takes a second. I don't know how long this video is, but I just got little hooks that uh, wire holds back the gate. A lot of these trees up and through here, uh, it's not been pre-commercially thinned to about 50 feet from the road, but beyond that, they're all uh, 35, 45 foot tall spruce and fir. There's a lot of pine on the property, um, like immature 50, 60 foot tall pine. Um, You'll probably find it funny, but I think I've actually counted them. I think there's like 48 of them, something like that. Probably doesn't do it justice just shooting video, but it's better than nothing. This is where the that that's the main Cheney Road right there. That's where that uh, driveway is going to come up in. If I just sell a camp in the uh, the 10 acres, it's going to hit here and then run right along the road. This road is really solid. Um, there's no ruts in it at all. It's probably been here for I don't know a long time anyway. There's a ladder there where I was pruning up a bunch of pine. It's a bunch of white pine right through here. And you see some brush down there from the thinning. The thinning was done uh, seven or eight years ago. Um, so I'll get out and explain this part of it. It's probably a lot easier just to get out and do that. Like all, most of that through there is all spruce. But it's heavier to fur. So then it comes up along the road and then right here, I've got a cut line 
right on down through to the brook and that'll be on a separate video for sure but there's a cut line that goes right here from this pine down to a big cedar and that's going to be on the left side that's going to be the 10 acres and then on the other side of this stream up to the lake and then over to the right and all over this way there's big hardwood ridge up on the back side of the stream that's the 30 acres that's 35,000 so a little bit of slash down here for sure but the, all these trees here are like 35 feet tall a little bit of oak mostly uh, sugar maple yellow birch in the uh, in the hardwood stand And this driveway would be uh, about 350 feet long. So it's nice and private. If you don't want company, you won't have any, for sure. So this is where the road forks. That goes around the right-hand side of the camp. This comes down into the camp area. That little building there, that's really got to be torn down. There's my shed. Just I had the doors open, wind caught one of them, and that's been off the hinges anyway. That's a good building. That's uh, 14 feet wide, 20 feet long, something like that. Outhouse back there. There's camp. I'll get good. I'll get more video of it here anyway. But for now, gives you an idea. Right up to the lake. There's the front. Walkway out. I thinned it out here a little bit so you can see right up through the lake. And there's the front of the camp. So that's it for now. I'll take another video here in a second.